Hello. It is time for a diet update. A little bit behind, but this is what it is. So, first things first, let's go see what we weighed in at. Here we go, on the scale. Looks like 253, let's check that again just to make sure. Okay, no error, that's a good sign. Two fifty-three. All right, that was the weigh-in for April first, and no, it is not an April Fool's joke. So as you can see, down a little bit from last month, two fifty-three, not too terrible. But you guys all like the graphs, right? So let's go check out the graph for March. That is not too pretty. I'm not sure. What was going on, it was really frustrating. I'd go down a little bit and then just way back up and back down a little bit and back up and, whew, yeah. Uh, dieting sucks video. If you haven't seen it, you should check that out. Description down below. But that's what I was feeling like. What's the point of even doing this? Just back and forth, back and forth. But uh, let's look and see what we're looking at for the whole year, right? January to April 1st, 282 to 253. That's 29 pounds down, still a lot to go, but just wanted to go over the plan again. My minimum goal for uh, the year was to make the 242 pound weight class for powerlifting at the end of the year and I wanted to be able to do the 265 for the April competition. Now I'm not going to be able to do the 265 competition because I'm not gonna be able to go to the April 16th competition. I didn't realize it was gonna be on April 16th. That is my daughter's birthday party. So that takes precedent. And now I've got her enrolled in soccer and her first game happens to be the day of her birthday. So that's gonna be a really busy day with going to the game, then doing her birthday, and I gotta decorate a cake and all that kind of stuff. So, whew, yeah, no way of powerlifting's fitting in there. But all of you going out there, uh, Tony, you guys got this. Do it really well for me, because I can't be there. Really looking forward to seeing some of the videos of that competition, excited for that. But obviously I'm not gonna do that, but I did make the 265 cutoff, right? <laughs> Uh, so at 253, I would have made that. So that is nice. At 240, I think I'm going to slow down the diet a little bit. I'm already slower than what I wanted to be. I was hoping I could really cut really well into March and be done cutting about mid-April at 240. Obviously, I'm not quite there yet. So I'm going to have to extend a little bit longer because I'm going to have to extend it longer. Once I do hit 240, I'm going to up the calories up again until I hit maintenance. When I stop gaining, losing weight, just staying steady, I'm feeling like I'm putting a lot of work in and I'm not limited by having no calories and no energy. That's where I'm going to cut just a little bit, maybe 100 or 200 calories. Just go for a slight decline through the summer because I would prefer to water weight cut for the strongman competition than just try and lose a whole bunch of weight and come into the competition weak and, and not able to do anything. So I'm already losing a lot in some of the lifts. As you guys have seen, anybody that's been watching the training logs, I know they're boring, but they're out there. So that is it for this video. I will keep you guys up to date on what's going on next month. Until then, go with something heavy. And if you're dieting, I feel your pain. I really do.